Abraham Thomas Core, popularly known as Abraham Core, born on 10th April 1898 in Tiruvala, state of Kerala in India, died on 18th September 1978 in Colombo in Sri Lanka. The most controversial picture, a person who came as a god in devil's form who threatened and frightened most of the spiritual peoples who had got who claimed to have supernatural powers all around the world. Thomas Abraham Thomas Core of Core said nobody had and nobody ever had supernatural powers. They exist only in the pages of scriptures and sensation mongering newspapers. Abraham Thomas Kovar was an Indian professor and rationalist who gained prominence after retirement for his campaign to expose as frauds various Indian and Sri Lankan godmen and so-called paranormal phenomena. His direct trenchant criticism of spiritual frauds and organized religions was enthusiastically received by audiences, initiating a new dynamism in the rationalist movement, especially in Sri Lanka and India. Abraham Kaur was very, very, very popular with most of the people who understand truth <laughs> and I was to a certain extent attracted to him and I used to read his books <laughs> and basically I was a rationalist till I started my school. The day I started the school I broke the relationship with the rationalist because the truth is there with Abraham Kaur but like Abraham Kaur telling Man is born in the land and he shouldn't touch the water. And all these people are swimming in the water, all stupid. <laughs> what all are you talking about? The water and the swimming is wrong, maybe. Anyhow, when I started the school, when I saw the struggle, when there was no food, food came. I could feel the love, feel, smell, taste, touch and see the love. First time it shocked me. I never touched anybody's feet, neither I wanted to touch. Neither I did Shashtanga Namaskar. Throughout my life, I tried to avoid everybody. After I started the school, I got an opportunity to touch the feet of not the great people, but my own children's feet. And it shocked me. There is so much love. I suddenly became a nobody, melting with the the earth. <laughs> it gave me a lot of energy and power to stay with my children, to help my children to grow 24 bar 7. And one day, children came and told me, there is a devil in Rakum school. And I asked, devil? Yes, devil. Nighttime sleeping time? Rice will fall into everybody's head. Rice falling to somebody else. Then I, I read a Bronco Wars book, so I know <laughs> the trick involved. So I said, okay, I'm coming to investigate. It was in second floor. At night, exactly 12 o'clock, around that time only the rice will fall. So I went a little earlier. I was sitting near the door without telling them. I was waiting and waiting and waiting. And dong, the rice fell <laughs> for a second. I was shocked. I, I knew it was a devil only. Devil in Rakhine school. And me, I am also another devil. So devil to devil will work out much better. Attack! I switched on the light and I saw the devil movement. There was a little movement on the... Uh, there was a bunk bed. Ground, first, second, third. On the third bunk, 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 bunk bed. I saw a moment. I knew the devil is there. I immediately called some of the seniors and said, Come run! 
There the devil is there. Clash the devil. They ran, caught the devil. Devil. <laughs> and I said, now put the hand into the pocket. And they fall. Inside the pocket, there was rice of one of the students. <laughs> and there was a blind student. Why did you throw the rice every day night? <laughs> and the girl was, as a, a child was telling, my, my seniors were every time scolding me and beating me. <laughs> So I got angry and to threaten them, blackmail them. I threw this rice. This is got a connecting what Abraham Cover said in his book. There was a girl with this problem, and there was a devil, and they brought so many uh, people, uh, uh, priests, and other things to do the, uh, the puchas and all, and nothing happened. The devil never go, went out. And they called Abraham Cover. Abraham Cover said, Let me go and find out what's the problem. He went to the house, he went directly to the uh, he told the parents, can I talk to the girl who is, who is all, whenever she's studying in the room, the problem whenever she's studying the room, stones will fall. And they couldn't find out. So he said, let me go and talk to the girl alone. So he enters the room and closes the door and spoke to the girl. And then he came out and he told the people and all the newspapers and TV were standing there. He said, okay, problem is solved. Tomorrow onwards, no stones will fall. And they were shocked. What did he do? He went inside the room and caught the devil. He said, I caught the devil. Finished. The devil will not come anymore. The devil did not come for three weeks. On the third week, the devil, again, the stone fell. And the parents called, go rushed up. And he told the girl, look, now I'm going to tell your parents. He caught the girl and dragged her to the parents and said, she's the one. Your own daughter is carrying stones in the pocket and throwing. Why? Because the parents are scolding her that she's not studying, she's not studying, she's not studying. Connecting. Nobody has, nobody had, and nobody ever had supernatural powers. Yes, but there is supernatural powers on the love relationship with the nature, on this love relationship with your own parents, with the love relationship with your own teachers, with the subject, and there you find something new opening. You find a power. And that power is supernatural. <laughs> now you cannot say there is no supernatural, but uh, when you say it as a, uh, as if you have purchased it up, then it is not natural. It's not organic. It is uh, just stupidity. That's what uh, Abraham Kovar was trying to tell. There was another one story Abraham Kovar was telling. One girl um, got married and after four years also she never became pregnant. So they went to all the doctors and she was not getting pregnant. So this matter came to Kovar and everybody was shocked. What has this got to do with Kovar? Kovar said, nevertheless, I will go to find out. So he went and talked to the parents and he said, give me a chance to talk to the girl. And when he entered the uh, room and he locked the room, she started laughing. And Kovar said, why are you laughing? <laughs> he said, did you come to investigate that I'm going, why I'm not getting um, pregnant? He said, of course. He said, you're the first man who came to my room to talk to me. These people are all monkeys. They went to all the, took me to all the doctors, to all the spiritual people. But nobody has ever spoken to me. They are kept on doing pujas and giving me medicine. How will I become pregnant? He said, tell me the truth. He's telling him, look, I got married, but my husband has never touched me. Without you touching, how will I become pregnant? So go rush up, to, came on. He said, problem is all. I talked to the husband. He called the husband and said, what is it? Then he came to know the husband. When this girl was in ninth standard, uh, the, the class teacher, uh, his, uh, his only one son of the family, mother died. So when he came to the class, he saw this girl in mother's rupa. So he went and told his father, I want, I want this girl, I want to get married. Parents said, she's such a small girl, we cannot get her married. At last, convincing, they got her married. After marrying, he was telling, Amma, Amma. <laughs> and the brown girl said, look, Amma, give my daughter is correct. <laughs> but now she's your wife, you have to touch. And next year, they got a baby also. Very funny things. Yes, mm, the same thing about a devil. There was a devil uh, at second night, twelve o'clock, white sari, long hair, and then ooh, big noise right in the uh, sandalwood forest. And uh, oh, everybody was scared. The brown coat ran. He said, he slowly was watching and went near to the tree where the devil used to come. At second, exactly twelve o'clock, a brown coat was sitting alone. It seems. He saw a white sari and went woo shouting. And the moment the white sari comes, all the forest officials run inside and lock it up. And, and then the drama starts. The moment the white sari came, Abraham took some little guts. He ran behind and caught all of the person. 
Then he found it's a man in, in the white sari. Why he's doing that when he asked, he was to please don't tell, please don't tell. I have taken money to do this work because when you do this work, all the forest robbers will go inside and the forest robbers will come. They'll cut the sandalwood tree and they sell it. <laughs> Interesting. Nobody had, and nobody ever had supernatural powers. They exist only on the pages of scriptures and sensation mongering newspapers. Let it that be. That is Abraham Gomez's versions. But there is a supernatural power. The brown gore has not tasted it. That taste is your hard labor, which I have been trying to tell you. Abraham Gore, you have not done any hard labor for you to create a rationalist association and then go around and talk stupidity. There is a power. You should have worked very hard and made, made people strong so that we could have brought them some pain in the society, we could have brought them hunger and wiped out some tears. What I'm trying to tell you, there is a supernatural power on everybody's body. Body itself is supernatural. And then when you work very hard, when you sweat it out, we feel so happy and that happiness is supernatural. The happiness is very divine and it's very godly. <laughs> when that is not being taught, none of the leaders, you are telling Swamiji's and the priest is wrong, and you are also wrong because you also have not done any work except Exposing, exposing, exposing is the work of the d film director. They come and expose <laughs> all the girls in the boys' dresses. Let them do it. It's not your duty. Let us forget about it. Anyway, Ibrahim Kovod did some very good job. Because of that, I was able to stop one proper devil inside my school. <laughs> the rice falling. Certain things are very good, but, uh, but that is a power. I could feel it. Abraham Gore left his body without understanding that power. That power is your love relationship. You're creating the joint family and the family tree, which will give you, bring down your medical cost. This is my 183rd short discourse.